Your $20 an hour employee does not cost you $20. It actually costs you more. And today I'm gonna to share with you how to figure out the true cost of your employees by talking about labor burden. Yay, that's fun, isn't it? Well, listen, if you don't get this right, you're gonna get your face kicked in financially. All right, but before we jump into that and I teach you a little bit about this here today, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when we have a new video. Let's go. All right, let's define labor burden. The amount an employee costs you above their pay. So if you pay somebody 20 bucks an hour, you're actually paying more than that because of this thing called labor burden. If you're a legit business, you'll be paying this. Okay, there's no way around it. And a big reason that people don't make money is they don't figure in what the burden of that labor costs them when they're putting their bids together. What? Come on. And they're sending their proposals and this and that, and then they wonder why they're not having more money left in the bank account. That's a problem. All right, so I wanna define a couple things here. So labor burden is the amount they cost you above their pay. I wanna talk about direct job costs, okay? What are, cost of goods sold. What are direct job costs? It's anything you have to pay to get the job done. So it'd be subcontractors, their hourly pay, materials, permits, rental, equipment rental, things like that. Those are direct costs, but at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you guys a tool to help you figure out what a project actually costs you by plugging some things in, you hit a button, it tells you what you should charge if you wanna make 50% or better gross profit. All right, so stick around for that. So let's, we define direct costs. Now let's get into indirect costs. This is things like workers comp, payroll tax, health benefits, paid time off, mobile phones, profit sharing, and a bunch of other shit. Okay, when it comes to indirect costs of an employee, you have to figure those in. What does workers comp cost you? What is your portion of payroll tax cost? If you have benefits and stuff, figure all that up, and then you come up with a dollar amount. All right, so quick whiteboard example. That employee making 20 bucks an hour, um, if he works an eight hour day, that's $160 that that person is earning. All right, back to our example. When you figure up you know, what your workers comp is, what your payroll taxes that you have to pay and anything else, like I said, let's say it's $6. Okay, well that's $6. If you divide that, that's, this is 30% of 20. So you have to add $20 plus the $6 is now $26 an hour is what that employee is really costing you. That's what you're paying, all right? And it times the same eight hour day, it's $208. So you can see that's kind of a problem. That's a problem. What's that, $48 difference per employee per day? Guys, this shit adds up, okay? So take some time, calculate your labor burden so you're not hosing yourself. So let me give you an exa uh, example of a consequence of not figuring labor burden here. If you had one employee and you did not factor in that extra $6 an hour in this case, all right, times about 2,000 hours in the year, just think on the annual basis, that's $12,000 a year that you're paying out that you're not getting paid for by the client. That's a lot of money. So what you're doing, if you just doubled the labor, hey, the guy cost me 20, I'm gonna charge 40, all right, um, you should be charging 52 an hour instead of 40 if you're figuring in that labor burden. So your annual for that employee, you are undercharging by $24,000, all right? So just trust me on this. The tool I'm gonna give you here in a second, guys, will help you figure this out, all right? So guys, this is one thing that can really hammer your business, is not understanding and not paying attention to the math of what labor burden is. So whatever that dollar amount that you're paying your people, you are actually paying, in most cases, 20, 30, sometimes 40% of that amount in addition to what you're paying them per hour. All right, so like I said earlier, make sure you subscribe to this video, and guys, go to thecontractorfight.com forward slash job cost. Uh, this is a game changing sheet that'll really help you figure some things out. In that sheet, at the top, it'll say labor burden. We put 40% in there already for you. You could change it if you want, but rarely do I see anybody that's more than 40%. 
And that way, you know, just if you have a $10 an hour employee and it's 40%, it'd be another four bucks per hour. So that person's costing you 14 an hour and it's already factored in there. You just gotta put in what they make an hour and the, it does the rest of the math for you. All right, guys, ensure that you're making a profit. Don't sell yourself short, figure in that labor burden. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on The Fight. I'm out.